Okay, great. Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining this early. You're, uh, it's nice to see uh, that you're already this many this early. So uh, I'm going to give a short introduction to the Internet of Things Dev Room for FOSDEM 2018. I'll start uh, introducing myself, explaining what the IoT Dev Room is about, who Peter Hinches is, and also uh, give a short overview of uh, the talks that are going to uh, be presented today to you. Who am I? I'm Maxime Vesso. I'm an electronics and embedded software engineer. Uh, I've been working in uh, many different companies, but now I'm working at a startup, an IoT startup also called Senseless, and uh, we are doing uh, low power asset tracking. Uh, I'm also involved in a few uh, free and open source projects, uh, such as uh, Pico TCP, which is a small embedded uh, uh, TCP IP stack. Uh, Frosted, which is a, a POSIX implementation for very small embedded devices. So it's like running a small Unix on Cortex-M uh, kind devices. Uh, this project is also using the former, the Pico TCP project, to have a full TCP IP connectivity. Uh, another project is Unicore MX, which is kind of a universal core library uh, with support for clocks, the peripherals, UART, etc. Uh, also for the Cortex M uh, class of devices. So these three projects kind of go together. Uh, then what is the Internet of Things Dev Room? Uh, I guess you, you guys kind of know since you're uh, already here. Anyway, this, this is the fifth Internet of Things Dev Room that has been organized on FOSDEM. Uh, it's a whole day track uh, and it, uh, it's focused on everything that's IoT and this is very diverse. Uh, IoT is also kind of a buzzword since the last few years, but I think it's really starting to take off more slowly than many of the uh, many people anticipated but still it's it's becoming a reality more and more devices are getting connected uh, and this results in uh, this dev room with very diverse talks which is also nice uh, we're going to talk about machine to machine communication between small devices home automation uh, computer vision uh, on small devices uh, of course, a lot of IoT software stacks, uh, how do you get things done on these devices. Security, privacy, which is also, in my opinion, a very big issue with uh, IoT, and uh, there's still not enough uh, thought about this. Of course, all the presentations here must be fully uh, free and open source, free or open source. We also have just open source software. And of course, related to software development and they probably will involve some kind of hardware as well since we're talking about the IoT. Then I want to give a small word to Peter Hinches. Some of you m uh, might know him. Uh, he, was a, he was an example to me. He's also the guy that started the IoT dev room on FOSDEM. He did this for three years uh, and I took over after him. Uh, so he, who was he? He's a, he was a writer, a programmer and also uh, a thinker. He wrote many books. Uh, he mo wrote many protocols. Uh, sadly, uh, in April, April 2016, he was uh, diagnosed with uh, terminal cancer. And even then, he wrote a protocol for dying, which uh, got kind of popular on the internet because it was a very uh, special approach to look at, at these things. Uh, many of, of his books are very, very interesting to read. Some are more uh, about psychology, some are really about software architecture, working with teams, building communities. Uh, he's also the author of uh, the Zero MQ protocol, which is a message queuing protocol, which is particularly suited for, uh, for tiny embedded devices, and so on. Uh, look him up, he's a very, very interesting guy. Now we have the overview of the day. Uh, Sadly, I already have to say that one of the talks has been cancelled uh, due to the speaker not being able to make it to FOSDEM, uh, which was the, uh, this talk about the dark side of Internet of Things, which is kind of sad because this was uh, a talk focused on the security. But we have another one focused on, on security as well. Uh, but I'll give you a small overview. So uh, the first one is the opening right now. Then we're going to talk about turning on the lights with Home Assistant and MQTT. So this is in the home automation. Uh, then uh, 
there's one how, how to access an embed device so embed is this platform from arm uh, to connect no not to connect but to program your uh, your devices and uh, we're gonna get an explanation how to use page guide to access any uh, IOT device from the outside then another home automation talk where uh, we get an explanation why it's not as easy as we think because it's just hooking up some device to the internet right uh, then I talk about computer vision, Mirai and computer vision, uh, and also focusing on the security of, uh, of connected webcams. So it's also a very interesting topic, I think. The IoT botnet wars, so uh, you might know this uh, huge botnet, uh, which was, was created by, by hacking many uh, cheap, uh, very badly protected webcams. Uh, so. I think it's a big, big issue uh, if people st uh, keep connecting things to the internet and not thinking decently about security, we, we will be in big, big trouble. Uh, then there is uh, the Eclipse IoT Foundation, which actually has three software stacks for uh, the IoT. So we'll get an overview of that. Uh, there is also Tizen RT. So uh, you might know Tizen, which is more focused at I'd say the bigger embedded devices uh, running Linux, maybe they even have a few CPU cores. And there's Tizen RT, which is really the lightweight uh, RTOS variant of this. Then we have a talk uh, again about uh, the Eclipse IoT Foundation, but from a different perspective. This, this one is uh, a talk from Bosch, which is actively contributing a lot to, uh, to this uh, foundation. Then there's uh, a talk about IoTJS, which is uh, running a JavaScript interpreter on tiny embedded devices. Uh, then this sadly is the, the cancelled talk, so uh, this one will not go through. And the final one is about OSS 7, uh, which is a Dash 7 implementation, open source implementation of the Dash 7 uh, protocol. And Dash 7 is kind of... Um, an LP WAN communication protocol. So you can compare this to uh, LoRa or uh, Sigfox, um, but then meant to be site local, and it's actually technology coming from uh, RFID, uh, which now has been uh, which now has been put on uh, LP WAN uh, devices. So that's about it for the introduction. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If there's any questions, uh, you can uh, you can always come to me. And I think there's about five minutes left uh, for the next talk, so uh, thanks.